So in the last tutorial I just showed you some uh, methods to import your text files from the OCEC instrument and then just how to create um, graphs like you would see in Excel. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to go into how to integrate those graphs that are created um, and then to determine peak areas within those graphs. So first I'll start off by plotting the same graph that we had in the previous tutorial. Um, just a quick method to do this is we can highlight our FID1 axis. I actually click down here on the bottom left there's a little line button which will create this graph for us um, instead of going up here in the toolbar. So to begin with the peak and um, to analyze our peak areas we go into analysis here up at the top um, peaks and baseline peak analyzer and we're going to go open dialog which opens up a little peak analyzer software thing um, and the first little box that it pops up here is asking what we want to define our baseline as or what we want to do. So in this case, we're just going to leave it as integrate peaks. We'll click next. Um, this is just what we want our baseline mode to be. In this case, we're going to have it constant and set at the minimum value. So the minimum value of the FID1 signal here. So we'll click next again. This one, um, we all, we'll also click next. There's nothing that we want to click on this box and then this is finally where we want to start editing stuff so if we look down here where it says peak filtering it says the method by height we're actually going to switch this to by number and we're going to unclick auto so in this case I only want to find two peaks for this method I'm going to create so I'm going to click on two I'm going to get rid of enable auto find because that will um, not allow us to find peaks later on if we continue to use this method um, but I will click here find and it's going to find the current number of peaks on our graph, which is two. So if I move this out of the way, we can see that it found the two highest peaks here, which is our calibration peak height, and another area right in here in our elemental carbon um, fraction. So that's all we need to worry about in this case. So we just want number of peaks two because we're only going to integrate two areas in this case. So I'm going to click next. And then we go to the next box where it says the number of ranges to integrate, and we're going to click keep this checked all peaks so it's going to integrate two ranges and we're going to set our integration window width to adjust on preview graph and what this allows us to do is if I move this over to the side again we can see two the two peak areas that it's integrating right now correlating to these kind of peak areas in the middle but what we can do is right click on this and click scale and we can actually set this to any value we want. So the x1 value in this case is second. So I'm going to set it to 1 for x1 because that's we start our analysis at 1 second and then set the second one to 775 because that is the end of um, the collection of our sample in this case. And then I'm also going to right click on this scale area. I'm going to set this to 776 because this is the beginning of our calibration peak phase. And then I'm going to end it at 885 because that's the time in seconds that our instrumental parameters are set at so that the run ends at 885 seconds. So we're going to click OK here, bring back our peak analyzer box, and then we're going to, at this point, um, before clicking finish, we're going to actually save this dialog so that we can use it for a later time. And I'm going to label this pyroprobe underscore AC because that's the current method we are using for our instrument. So I'm going to save that by clicking OK. And now we can click Finish. So once we click Finish, um, the Origin software goes and calculates these peak areas. And to be able to see them, we have to minimize our graph. Um, and then it opens up this. As we can see at the bottom, it says Integration underscore Result 1, which gives us um, our peak area of our range 1 and also our peak area here of our calibration peak, which is range 2. And then as we can see, looking over here, beginning X, that's just the time, so one second in this case, and ending X, so it ended at 775 seconds. And then the second range, as I said earlier, 776 seconds to 885. So a thing to note at this point is we can see that our tab here is integration underscore result one. And it's a good idea to probably rename this right away so that we don't get confused. So in this case, um, it was wood smoke sample um, 06 that we were analyzing, so we can just label it something like 06 wood smoke um, integration. 
and then we'll go OK. Just so that we're, we know that it's correlating to this sample that we looked at earlier. So that's all for this tutorial. Um, just creating a simple method to analyze the total carbon area fraction as well as the calibration area to give us um, total area. And then in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to actually go in and edit the integration program that you just created. So in case your instrument parameters change or your method changes, we can just go in simply and change those parameters.